In this video, we are going to see the feature of text to columns from the data ribbon. First, we need to understand the purpose of this feature. You see, typically what happens is when we have a CSV file. Well, when we have a CSV file with the separator comma, let me let me show you that CSV file. So we right click on that file, icon of that file and click on open with and deliberately without, without opening in Excel, which is by default, we want to open it in Notepad first of all. Let's see now over here that the separators, separator is comma or we call it delimiter is comma. When delimiter is comma, an extension is CSV, no problem that if we double click on that the icon of that file, the file gets loaded as if it is Excel file, but actually it is not Excel file. Extension indicates it's a CSV file. That's not the case with the file, which is, which is having delimiter as semicolon or which is having delimiter as a tab. Usually you will see such kinds of files or you will require to work with such kind of files when the file has been exported from some another tool, not necessarily Excel. Okay. Now the file being a semicolon separated file, if you open that particular file, if you try to open that particular file, not a problem that this file gets opened, but it, it doesn't get opened the way you want to display the data. Basically, as you know that the data has been separated by semicolon, delimiter semicolon. So let us now read the data the way we want. Now, to begin with, we see one thing that the whole data which we have read is in one column only. Okay. We want that data to be scattered across all the columns. So, first of all, select that column, then go to the data ribbon and go to the option of text to columns. In text to columns, you will see, first of all, two options, delimited and fixed width. Over here, we are having delimited text. What is delimited text? The text in which, the file in which every two values are separated by some character, maybe comma, maybe tab, may, maybe semicolon, or maybe colon also, sometimes vertical bar also. Okay, so that is called delimited text. For reading delimited text, it, we should be selecting this delimited for reading fixed width in which not necessary the data is having uh, any delimiter but it is having fixed width for reading fixed width this fixed width option should be used we will talk about it later first of all let us see this delimited option so i click on this next button now you see many times you will find that some some default by like tab or some default like comma has been has been checked over here ensure that the relevant delimiter gets checked if if it happens that your delimiter is none of these your delimiter happens to be colon then you need to type here colon then only that particular delimiter will be considered now, as in this case, the delimiter is semicolon, I click on semicolon and now I click on next and well, if you want to set any data type uh, or you have some date uh, for any, any of these fields, then this needs to be specified. Otherwise, you can click on finish button so that now the data gets loaded the, the way you want it. Well, with the same option, we can also read tab delimited text. So let's see this tab delimited text. Tab delimited means 
two values, any two values separated by tab character. Okay, so what change we need to make? Let us see that. So coming back to our reading the file option. So once you try to read it, you will see uh, this window, then next. And now you require to check the relevant delimiter option. And now the data gets loaded. Now for reading a fixed width kind of file like this, in which it's not separated by tab, but it is separated by spaces. So for that, we will be using the other option. So for reading such kind of fixed width file, we again can go to the option of reading the file. Now we require to choose the next option, second option, fixed width. And then you see, one thing which you will watch over here that the arrows have been already displayed or it, they have been already adjusted for you. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Okay, in the next example, I will show you uh, where, where we require to fix this, these particular lines. But for now, they have already been fixed for you. So you can click on finish button to load the data. Now, as far as this data is concerned, we require to have separate columns. You see, we require to have separate columns accordingly, the way I am drawing the line. So, one column may be for site ID, something like project ID, and something like outpatient's identification. We want to split this information which is there in one column into three columns. Now, using this data ribbon, there are two ways of separating these values. Let us see first way with the help of fixed width option. Now with fixed width option, we require to consider the hyphen and slash also. So in order to have two columns, first of all, these two columns are to be there, but we also require to consider the hyphen and slash. So ultimately, I have added some few more columns. Now, considering this, I will select this particular, this particular column. Now go to the text to columns and now keeping this fixed width, go to the next button. Now you yourself require to choose by clicking, by clicking at the relevant places where you really want you really want the splits to take place. Okay. And if it happens that uh, you, you think that you see this split shouldn't be there. Okay. You can opt for double clicking the arrow so that the arrow can get cancelled. Now over here, we want this arrow. So now I click on next button or maybe I can click on finish button to complete my task. And hence is the split which has happened. Now you can opt for removing the, the hyphen and slash and you can rename these columns. The second way by which you can split this is by the way of delimiters. Let us see them. Now in this case, as I'm going to make the provision for delimiters, I will only be inserting two columns. You see one column for the leftmost value, then for the middle value, second column and third column for this last value. So now again, selecting the same field, I go to text to columns. Now keeping the delimited fixed, click on delimited uh, option uh, selected, click on next button. Now, don't forget to you see your your data doesn't contain any of these your data data contains what your data contains dash 
and your data contains slash. So first of all, let us make provision of dash. So I have over here, I have typed dash. Okay. So you see over here that this splitting has, text, has taken place. It will be one at a time. Okay. Now, so let's have this finished. Now, again, you require to make the same split. This time, it will be for slash. So going back to the delimited text over here, you should be typing as slash. Okay. Now clicking on finish button, your data is now ready. So hence this task will be completed by naming these columns. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button and for latest updates from me, subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you.